Neighbors. These are the victims of the DC Capitol Beltway snipers. Ten of our neighbors were killed while going about their everyday lives. And this weekend marks 20 years since the attacks that took them away. Two men, John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo, were traveling the area in a car turned into a sniper's nest, shooting people at random. Bruce Lachan talks with some of the people who helped to stop them. I heard a big bang because it was right by my head. It was a different kind of terror. We're dealing with someone shooting from a distance, uh, someone using a high velocity round. Seemingly unstoppable killers targeting school children, shoppers, people filling their cars with gas. Yes, somebody got shot at Spartanville, Sunoco. Every time there was another shooting, it was a really sick, unexplainable feeling really just, you know, oh my God, we have to catch these guys. Over three weeks in October 2002, the snipers killed 10 and critically wounded three more. Picture um, elderly people running from their cars, zigzag into stores, uh, people trying to gas their cars up, ducking down, uh, people coming in out of stores, trying to keep uh, an object between them and who knows what. April Carroll and Mike Bouchard were among the hundreds of investigators struggling to stop the murders. Well, there's no plan, there's no playbook. You know, no one's ever experienced something like this. All these years later, they still have big regrets, like the bad lead that had them chasing white vans and box trucks, and the good lookout for a dark-colored Chevy Caprice that somehow was ignored. We still struggle with that whole the, the car stops that these guys had been stopped numerous times. The big break in the case came from the snipers themselves. Don't say anything, just listen. Where are the people that are causing the killing in your area? Seeking credibility on a phoned in ransom demand, Lee Boyd Malvo claimed a previous murder. At that scene, Malvo's fingerprint, an arrest record led to Muhammad, and that to the rolling sniper's nest which an alert motorist spotted at a Frederick County rest stop. That's how we found him. Yeah, I'll never forget any of it. Virginia executed Muhammad in 2009. Malvo is serving multiple life terms in Virginia and faces another six in Maryland. But Maryland's highest court has just ordered a new sentencing hearing for the then 17-year-old killer. And Malvo is still hoping someday to be free. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.